The four factors that affect the behavior of gases, temperature, pressure, volume, and the number of gas particles. In 1787, Jacques Charles studied the relationship between the temperature and volume of a gas at a constant pressure. He explains how gases behave when they are heated or cooled. Charles says that if the temperature of a gas increases, its volume also increases. For example, you've got a balloon. When you heat it up, the air inside expands and making the balloon bigger. So by increasing the temperature, volume of gas inside the balloon will increase, so your balloon expands. According to the Charles law, the volume of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature as long as pressure remains constant. Mathematically it can be written as V is directly proportional to T while pressure P becomes constant. To change the proportionality sign into an equal sign, we need to add a constant which we'll call K. This equation can also be written as V over T that is equal to K. K is a proportionality constant. The value of K is same for same amount of a given gas. Therefore Charles law can be stated as ratio of volume and temperature of a fixed mass of a gas is constant at constant pressure. So according to the Charles law, volume is directly proportional to temperature. But remember that the unit of temperature must be in Kelvin, not in Celsius or Fahrenheit. The temperature in Kelvin is also known as the absolute temperature scale. This scale of temperature starts from 0 Kelvin, that is equal to minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, which is given the name of absolute zero. It is the temperature at which an ideal gas would have zero volume. Why Charles's law requires Kelvin scale? Let me answer it. Using Celsius or Fahrenheit would not give a consistent or meaningful proportionality between temperature and volume of a gas. Let me explain Charles' law by experiment. Let us consider a certain amount of a gas enclosed in a cylinder fitted with a movable piston. The initial volume of the gas is V1 and its temperature is T1. When the gas in the cylinder is heated, both volume and the temperature of the gas increase. So the final volume is V2 and final temperature is T2. According to Charles' law, we can write equation as V1 over T1 for initial volume and temperature that is equal to K constant. For the final volume and temperature we can write equation as V2 over T2 is equal to K. So by equating the above equations, we get V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. That is the final derivation of Charles' law. Let me teach you the graphical representation of Charles' law. Let's set up our graph. On the x-axis, we have temperature. And on the y-axis, we have volume. Imagine we have gas in a closed container with a movable piston. Let's our initial volume is 246 cm3 and the temperature is minus 100 Kelvin. Our first coordinate is 246 minus 100. So here's what it looks like on the graph. Now, I'm going to increase the temperature, which increases the volume to 346 cm3. As we do this, the temperature increases to 0 Kelvin. Our new coordinate is 346, 0. On graph this point shows the new coordinates. If I increase temperature even more, until the volume reaches 446 cm3, and the temperature jumps to 200 Kelvin. So we get our final coordinate 446, 200. When we connect all these points, we see a straight line. This is Charles' law, showing that as temperature increases, volume increases. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.